clouds on a rainy day Oh, the fire in the hills and I'm headed your way Oh, it's all right, baby, don't be afraid I'm just giving heads up from a dangerous way What's up guys, Jason from Damascus Outdoors. So today's episode is going to be how to make your own crawfish, or crawdad, however you call it there, uh, your own trap for them using a Coca-Cola bottle. So what you're gonna need for this is obviously the Coke bottle. Gonna have some type of uh, sharp edge, which in this case, I've just got a little multi-tool with a knife on it. Uh, four zip ties. So first off, take your Coke bottle, be very careful, and what we're going to do, we're going to cut right under this ridge, right above my fingernail. Okay, now that that is complete, it's not the prettiest by all means, but what I want to show you is when you take this part put it in here. See how much wider that is? See how much of a difference? So you can actually take this top piece and push it down in there to secure it. And it fits perfect down in there. That's why I like Coke bottles because it's just a wide, it's just a little bit wider on the top than in the middle so it'll secure down in there pretty good. So once you've got that complete you've secured the top uh, what you want to do next is now again be very careful take your sharp edge again and just make holes probably four holes one two three four on each side and use your zip ties to secure it down okay now that we have our holes now i just took the knife and just made little slits in it next step guys is to take one of your zip ties Find one of your little slits that you have made and try not to move your bottle where you've made slits. Uh, that could be a problem. So just line them up. Just kind of feed it through. So like that. There's my four sides. I'm just taking Cut off the ends. Boom. Now, your top is secure to your bottom. You have a little funnel into your trap. That way they can't get out. Um, there's one more step we need to take. So what we want to do, so you got your, you got a fast car coming through. You got your middle of your bottle. Now down about three quarters of the way, you want to make a little flap per se. Something where you can put, if you wanted to use rocks or whatever you needed to put in your bottle to weigh it down to get it to the bottom. Cut it big enough to where you can get some of the bigger chunks in there. Okay, like so. See my little door I got going on here guys. That just closes it, open it back up. Now. The reason this is for, again, is because you can put your weight down in the bottom down here to get it sucked down to the bottom of the creek, whatever you're putting your thing in. But I'm going to try to use this railroad tie since it's, kind of, it's long enough. And the problem that I've had here lately is, if you can see this one, guys, I actually have one made. The problem I've had with making my homemade crawdad traps is weight. So when you put rocks or whatever you put down in here and the current's flowing through it it pushes all the rocks back down to the back so I'm going to use this guy hopefully he'll work out good enough to where when I drop it into the creek it's just going to sink right down okay guys finally got it in here now you don't have to use a railroad tie uh, mother nature will provide with weight for sure so wherever you guys are going I'm sure you can find something to put down in the bottle to weigh it down. The next step for this would be to have some type of security as in when you put it down in the water and you pull it back up. Alright guys, so the three end results. 
two of the bigger bottles along with uh, I made a little one too just to see how well it works but either way let's go to the creek and let's try these out all right guys so we have finally made it to a creek uh, it's been a while uh, since I had filmed the actual making of the crawfish traps but now we're here at a creek we're gonna set this trap out and see how well it does um, I don't know if I had informed you guys, but you also have to put some type of bait or food in these traps for it to work as well. So uh, I've kind of kind of got a mixture of dog food uh, and some sunflower seeds. And I think what I'm gonna do as well is maybe just put like a little piece of bread or have a piece of bread in there. And um, hopefully that will attract these. So this looks like a pretty good spot over here. Got a nice, nice little deep hole over here. Oh, and kind of one over here as well. Uh, probably just sticking out closer to one of these guys. So, set up along with my trusty sidekick here. So, I'm just gonna take my little string, just tie it off to one of these rocks, uh, give it a little bit, come back and check it, and see if we got one. Okay, guys, if the time is now two o'clock, uh, we put this trap in about 12, probably, maybe a little bit earlier. So, now we're gonna hear Shine's actually down here. We're gonna go check this trap and see. If there is anything, fingers crossed this actually worked. Uh, if not, at least you guys know how to make the bottle and the trap. Yeah, as always, I have my little sidekick, but moment of truth, guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I even got a minnow. Oh, look at that. Check that out, guys. <laughs> the sunflower seeds are still in there. Look looks like at that. That's awesome. Are you trying to eat it? No, they're just losing water. All right, uh, let's pour us out on the bank real quick. Here's my little hatch here. Lena. Is that it? Is that all of them? One. You got two minnows. Two, two crawdads and two minnows. Check it out, guys. Cool. Oh, ah. No. Ah, okay. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Here we go. One, go. Where's the other one? Right there. I lost him. Oh, he's a big guy. Look at that. Look at that, guys. All right. Yeah. Okay, where's the crawdad? There's one of them, guys. Good dark color to him. Let's put him back in the water. And get my shadow out of the way. You can see him kind of burrowing right there. <laughs> Now, I know I had one more. I had two. Where'd the other one get off to? Did he make it to I the... think he made it to the water. Well, anyways, guys, there you have it. Two minnows and two crawdads. So it's a kind of a universal all around bait catcher, uh, if you want to call it that. But, anyways, it was made for crawdads specifically, but I guess it'll catch other things. So awesome okay guys so again coca-cola bottle some type of weight some twine and a knife this is all you got to use to make this little trap to catch you some live bait so guys again thanks for watching uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, also follow us on social media instagram facebook uh like comment tell us what you guys want to see what you want to hear uh in the meantime guys i am jason from do i am out know everything i touch burns right down the dust Cause I'm reckless Yeah, I'm